Justice for Abdul Kamal. Justice for Kashad Ashford. Justice for Jerome Reed. Justice for Eric Gardner. Justice for Walter Scott. Justice for Michael Brown. Justice for all victims of police brutality and misconduct. We are here to stop police brutality, to end racism. We want justice now, not later. We want it now. Abdul Kamal 
was shot 15 times. He was hit 10 times. Gashad Asher was killed by the state police in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. Eric Garner was choked to death in Staten Island, New York. Michael Brown was killed in Ferguson, Missouri. Abdul Kamal was murdered in Irvington, New Jersey. We got to stop police brutality now. Stop it now, not tomorrow. Stop it now.
got to stop the closing the hospitals. I was born in Bethesda Hospital in Newark. Free Mumaya Abu Jamal. And all political prisoners. Free Mumaya. Prima Mia and all political prisoners. Free Leonard Peltier. Free to move. Free two of the five human political prisoners. Wake up Newark. Let this world know that we stand in solidarity with Baltimore. We stand in solidarity with New Jersey. We stand in solidarity with Ferguson. We stand in solidarity with all the police brutality and killings that have been taking place across this country. Let them know enough is enough. They can't hear us when we're quiet. We have to be loud. We have to let them know that it's not just going to happen there. When you create conditions of inhumane justice, you create this situation. People are tired of waking up and hearing that their son or their daughter or their father or their cousin was found dead in the street or was found dead in the institution. We are tired of hearing it. We demand education. We demand health care. We demand resources to live under these man-made laws. So blow your horn and let them know we are fighting against police brutality. We are fighting against the illegal wars. We are fighting against poverty. But they can't hear you. They can't hear you because you're so silent. You're so conditioned to accepting the deaths that are going on around you. Blow your horn because we are fighting for human rights. We are fighting for all of us. We are fighting against immigration laws that destroy families and separate them. We are fighting against these things. And it's time that we stand up. We stand up and we make noise. We have to let them know it's never going to stop. We're trying to get to the chief and commander. We want to talk to the president because this has been happening throughout years and nothing's been done. Nothing's been addressed, but it's time that we addressed it. The pathway has been parted and some of us may not like the way it's been parted, but it's been parted to give you the opportunity to get to the table. But we all in every city across this country must demand respect and demand answers, not for one city. Not for one state, police killing for all of the cities and all of the states that have police killings because this is something that's passed down. This is how they live. We have got to stand and pick a side. Blow your horns and make some noise because you stand in solidarity with Baltimore. You stand in solidarity with Ferguson. You stand in solidarity with New Jersey. You stand in solidarity with your brothers and sisters that are being murdered in the street on a daily basis either by police brutality or vigilante or even people in your community because of the circumstances they endure every day. So blow your horns because we want real change and now we can demand real change. But we can't do it alone. It has to be all of us. Blow your horns. We're in solidarity with every organization that fights for human rights. We're in solidarity with every person that want to change in this country. America is headed down a dangerous path, a path of destruction, a path that capitalists look forward to. Let's not give them what they want. Let's fight back. Human rights is a human rights fight. You got the right to food. You got the right to shelter. You got the right to education. You got the right to health care. You got the right to live under these man-made laws. So I say stand up, people. I say rise up, North New Jersey. I say make some noise, and we're going to make noise every day. And all across the world, I want us to continue to make noise. In every city, in every state, don't ever let them rest. Let them always know it's going to be a rebellion. It's always going to be time for action, because we're not going to get tired. We're not going to get tired. The People's Organization for Progress is going to fight a human rights fight. We're going to stand tall under our chairman, Lawrence Hamm. We're going to stand tall under the leadership of our members and the guidance and the We're community so togetherness. Blow your horn.
And we Freddie all Gray is just human that right. one. We all go fight for our human rights. Happen to uh, right, blow your horn. This is a national epidemic. There've been a dozen in the past two years. This is a national epidemic. I would recommend that the federal department of justice come in and take over the Baltimore Police Department as it has been in the North. The North Police Department is going to be placed under a federal monitor and the city of Newark had to enter into a consent decree with the Justice Department. The consent decree is a schedule of reforms must be implemented to make changes in the police department. That needs to happen in Baltimore because obviously the way Fred Gray died is evidence of some very very serious problems in Baltimore. So I would recommend the feds go in and take over the Baltimore Police Department as they've done in the North and draw up a consent decree of reforms that will be implemented you to don't bring need to about be changes either. to prevent you need to blow future your heart for the deceased in your family, your brothers, your brothers, your brothers, your brothers, your brothers, your babies, because we saw something. We've been victimized by this for years. We've been victimized by this system for decades. It's time that we say no more. And if the only thing our attacker well, understands is to attack, then we must bring about that kind of change. I say blow your heart and make some noise. We have to pick up where Dr. Martin Luther King left off. Because this no country basically has been going backwards no be in terms of social justice since 1968. All of the gains of the civil rights movement have been eroded over the Baltimore, past 40 years. New Jersey, so we need New a York, new movement for Ferguson. racial, social, we economic justice and peace city, in the United States state, that can bring about country, the kind of changes that will rights. address these problems. We for instance, in we need in the United States a national jobs program like existed in the 1930s when this country was going through a recession. And within three years, the Roosevelt administration put 11 million people back to work. We need that kind of change, but they're not going to do that now in Congress. They're not going to do it unless there's a great movement of people to pressure them to do that. We need to increase the minimum wage. How can you get out of poverty making $7.25 an hour? You can't do it. The minimum wage should be at least $15 an hour. And working people in general need what Dr. King was fighting for, a living wage. We should be making enough money. If you work 40 hours a week, you should make enough money to feed, clothe, and house your family adequately. So I'm hoping that this movement that is growing around the issue of police brutality okay will, in fact, develop in into a larger movement for racial, human social, rights. economic Don't justice, get the message twisted. and peace Don't in Don't let the country. news media twist the message. We stand in solidarity for human rights. Law and Terror, Fight for Justice, Fight for Equality, Fight for Equality, Fight for Equality, Fight for Equality, and I'm chairman of the People's Organization for Equality. We want to inconvenience people, we want to cause a problem, so we can get to the table and talk about race. And white people in this country. We gotta talk about it. We never gonna get from our government. I see Marilyn Zwinger. Blow your horn. 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 We're here in South Africa. 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 Blow your horn for the teacher that has the courage to really teach your children about what's going on in this world today. Blow your horn. Blow your horn. Blow your horn.
We're going to fight for our brothers and sisters, specifically in Irvington, in North, in Bridgeton. We're going to fight and we're going to demand change. We're going to demand some answers. We're going to demand a timeline, see, like they do in corporate America. Where's the timeline of the events that are going to take place after you done shot and killed my child or my husband? Where's your schedule? Because I need to know when to come and where to go to get the information. We have to start demanding these things. These are things that are human rights, and it's a human right for you to know what happened to your father, your child, your daughter, your brother, your baby, when they murdered them in the streets. Baltimore, Philly, New Jersey, New York, your brothers, your sisters, the ones they're slaughtering in the street on a daily basis. Blow your horn. Immigration is a human rights fight. You have the right to be with your family. We're about to Uncle Tom to up from your family. This is all about fight together. So let's blow our horns in solidarity. You might not like the path that some take to get to the goal. But as long as we get there and get some change is what's important. So blow your horns blow and make some people. noise in solidarity because they have paved the way for us to have discussion. Blow your horns for Baltimore. Blow your horns for Wake your brother. Up. Blow your horns for your sister, for your son. Blow your horn against this inhumane justice system. Because Blow your horn. Blow your horn. Your sisters, your daughters, your brothers. You should be tired. You should be tired. It's a human it's rights fight. Right. You see, we all out here. We all out here together. Because it's all about fighting. We cannot do it alone. The bad cops will execute your behind. We cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. Blow those horns. Wake up! Do it alone. We need every group, every organization. Every we are in solidarity with the protesters in Baltimore, Maryland. We need everybody to rise up. We are in solidarity with the protesters in New York. Adapted to my children in being slaughtered in the Missouri. street. I'm not gonna get in adapted to my son being afraid to go North Carolina. I'm not gonna get used to telling him how to act. When the police come up there, tell it like it is, like so. Tell it like it is. I say, blow your horn. Tell it like it is, Sam. Blow your horn. Blow your horn, Sam. Our babies are out here today. I can't hear you. Blow your horn. Making some noise for justice because they want to grow up. There we go. And they deserve to grow up. They deserve to grow up in a safe community. Make they deserve to have good education. They deserve to have health care. They deserve to have housing. They deserve to have food. Blow your horn. Blow your horn. Blow your horn. Trust is for the youth. Blow your horn. This is for the black Panthers. When you're silent, it cannot hear you. When you're divided, you have Trust got for to the show F the F -A -L -N. You have got to show the unity. You Just for all political prisoners. prisoners. You have to stay together. Free my way out, brought you back. Human rights. Human rights. Give a man a special treatment by doctors from the family. The lawyers and friends of Mamea Abu Jamal. Free Mamea Abu Jamal! Free Mamea. Free Lord Pelletier! Free all political prisoners! Free all political prisoners! Free all political prisoners! Free all political prisoners! You running internationally, free another political prisoner! Free ours! Free Lord Abu Jamal! Free all political prisoners.
if you're not in our place and we don't want you to be in our place, but you still, you have to come out because when you don't come out, when you don't make your voice be heard, you're sitting in silence until it happened to you. And then when it happened to you, you want people to come out to support you. So don't wait until it happened to you. Come out and make your voice be heard and come out and stand for uh, justice. Because in this country, we're not getting justice. We're not getting justice for our sons and our daughters all across the country. There's an organization in New York called Stolen Lives Project. That's an organization that inducted my son, Abdul Kamal, and Regina's son, Kashad Ashford. We didn't want our sons to be inducted in an in a organization as that, but it, they were because of what happened to them. And this is an organization that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of our children, boys and girls, men and women, are part of because of their death by uh, police. Um, we at POP, we have a small meeting in a small room, but we have three mothers there that are grieving. We have three mothers there in one room. We are part of a sorority that we do not want to be a part of. We did not ask to be a part of this sorority, but we are. And for that, we have to stand up for our children. And for that, we have to come out and we have to protest and we have to rally. So we have to do what we have to do for our children, because if, if we don't, who will? You know, if we don't come out and other people come out for our children, what is that saying about the family? What is that saying about us? So whether it's one, two, or three, we have to come out. As God says, as long as there's two or three in the midst, so is, I'm, I'm there as well. So we know, we know that when we come out, and when we come out in force, that it's, it's, it's doing something. It may, not be a, it may be a while before we see it, but it's doing something. I hope and pray that it's doing something. Thank you. Wish Gashad Ashford's mother, Jerome Lee's mother, go on up here. You can't hold us on and speak at the same time. I got two of them. Oh. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sheila Reed. I am Jerome Reed's mom. My son got killed in Bridgeton, New Jersey by a police officer by the name of Bahim Day and Officer Watt Riley. Uh, his hands was up and they shot him. They told him not to hands move. Hands up, don't shoot. They told him hands up, don't move. He didn't move. When he did get out the car when he was told to, they shot him. My son was murdered. I got his autopsy papers. He was murdered. And I am hurting real bad because I think about him every day and I miss him because I had three sons and I'm down to two. I'm like uh, Jamal's mom. I'm not just hurting for my son, but I'm hurting for all the sons that, that was killed by the police officers. The police officers are getting out of control. They are supposed to protect and serve. Instead, they're, they're killing, they're killing, they're killing. You don't have no say so. There was a, a stop and frisk at one time. Uh, I believe it's still a, a still um a, still at still doing it. But I want them to stop killing our kids. I want them to stop killing our fathers. I want them to stop killing our grandfathers. My grandson don't have a father. My grandson is now six months old. He was three months old when his father got killed. I'm fighting for my grandson and all the other kids that lost their father. Uh, that's all I have to say because I'm about to cry. Everybody have a good evening. I want everybody to stand up for justice and for peace. Thank you. Yo, watch your foot. Watch your foot. Justice for Toronto Reed. Justice for Kishan Ashford. Justice for Abdul Kumar.
Jones. We struggle for liberty for Abdul Kamal. We struggle for liberty for Jerome Reed. We should struggle for liberty for Gashar Ashford. Gashar Ashford's mother and grandma, where are you? Come on up here. My name is Marilyn Zuniga. Many of you have been supporting me um, with the situation with Orange School District. And I'm here today. I'm actually very, very late to a best friend's bridal shower. So I will not be able to um, stay here much longer. But I'm here because I support the youth. Um, I'm here largely because of the miseducation that I received as a youth. And I'm here to support... Um, People's Organization for Progress, thank you for having me. I'm here to support y'all and your solidarity with Baltimore, the youth in Baltimore, and I'm so excited to be here. Um, What the youth in Baltimore are experiencing right now is directly connected to our miseducation as a people. And there's been multiple folks who have spoken out about that, young folks. They're energized, they're ready, and um, they're fighting for justice. And that's very important. Um, I would like to highlight that here in Newark, there's youth doing excellent work, and we need to support the people here in Newark. Um, Youth in Newark are working. Newark Students Union is speaking against what is happening in the education system here in Newark. 
They're standing up for themselves. They're fighting for freedom. They're fighting for justice. And we need to support them as much as possible. They are really, really energized. And we also have the Maroon Project here in Newark. Um, it's a group of millennials who have just started an organization. We're here. We're ready to work. Uh, we've already started a books and breakfast program. Our next program is May 30th, and it will be out of Source of Knowledge Bookstore, the last black-owned bookstore here in Newark. Um, and we are having a books and breakfast program providing food and books to all youth who attend. Uh, please be there. It is at 9 o'clock on May 30th. Every last Saturday of every month, we will be staging, a, a hosting a books and breakfast. So please come through um, and support Newark youth. That's what I'm here for. And I hope everybody else is here for that, too. At the end of the day, we're fighting for freedom. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. May 12th. There's going to be a meeting in the Orange Educational System, 400 Central Avenue in Orange, New Jersey. We struggle for Maryland because her third grade class wrote get well letters to Mumia Abu Jamal. That's why they try to suspend Maryland, the fraternal order of police. In Philadelphia, somehow, some way, contacted with the Board of Education of Orange. They want to suspend Maryland. We don't, we won't let them suspend Maryland. We won't let them fire Maryland. Prima Mayor Abu Jamal. Justice for Abdul Kamal. Justice for Jerome Reed. Justice for Kamal Ashford. Justice for Eric Gardner. Justice for Michael Brown. Justice for Justice for all victims of police brutality and misconduct. I pledge allegiance to the flag. For which it stands, liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. All means black and brown people. The brother is holding the stripes of our American flag upside down. We don't have justice in America. Why should we have hold the flag the right way? We did not have justice in America. Fifty years old. Justice for Mamia Abu Jamal. Justice for Malin. Zoinga. Remember, tw May 12th, we're going to all, we invite all y'all to Board of Education of Orange, 400 Central Avenue, 400 Central Avenue in Orange, New Jersey, on May 12th, 2015. Justice for Mamiya Abu Jamal, Justice for Marilyn. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? No justice. 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 Hands up. Hands up.
Kashad! 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 Jerome! 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 I want everybody to come in. We're getting ready to march. Everybody come off the medians. Come up and join the rest of the crowd. We're getting ready to get in order. We're getting ready to march. Everybody come in. Signal the people down there to come on up. Come on up. Tell everybody to come in. We're getting ready to march. While we're getting ready to march, I'm going to ask Councilwoman uh, Donna Williams, City Council President, Orange, New Jersey, come say a few words. Give a big hand. Donna Williams, give a big hand. Come on up, everybody. Hello, everybody. One, um, greetings on this beautiful day. I am now here to stand for justice. It's that simple. We believe in pro we believe in a process. We believe in being judged fairly. We believe in the American way, as they say. It is unfortunate what happened in Baltimore, but I am very, very concerned when people who sit on high look down and call young people thugs and they have never stopped down to sit down and have a conversation with those young people and when I hear people say they're burning up their community I'm a legislator and one of the things that I'm very concerned with is being inclusive and that it is very important that we include everybody who we represent to be a part of the process so when you see young people throwing rocks and burning down, maybe because they don't feel that they're included in that community. Right. And those are the questions we have to ask. Why are they doing what they are doing? And another thing that stood out, um, that was very, that stood out for me was the mother and the son. And, and the mother who went to get her son, but the son who was persistent that he had to go. So you had two questions before you. A mother who said, I can't let you go, and a son who said, Mom, I have to go. So we need to pay attention. And I looked, there's a sign over there that spoke in 1967 when there were riots going on. And I was born in 1967, and here we stand in 2015, Now we are fighting some of the very things that they fought for the day that I was brought into this world. So let's stop judging. Let's start listening. And let's start paying attention to one another. We're not saying that we hate police. We're not saying that we're different than the young brother on the, on the corner. But I think there deserves to be a conversation amongst everybody so that we can understand everybody's perspective. So again, let's keep moving forward and let's remember that we are the people and that legislators like me work for the people. So you hold us accountable and you make sure that when it, that, what you said, that there is power in voting. There's much power in voting and I don't care. And there's a big conversation about the Koch brothers putting all this money into elections, but they don't have all the votes. So I'm saying make your voice be heard at every election. Speak. And then once you put us in office, you hold us accountable. And as a woman said back in 1800 that I can't remember her name, but what she said is I'll put you in office and I'll take you out of office. So thank you for allowing me to be here, Larry. And I think that it's very important that, that we come together and that we talk. And, and, and as a, unfortunate as Baltimore, you know, the situation that happened, I stand to say that we're listening to those young people today. Thank you very much. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? These are the mothers. Today we are here. The theme of today's demonstration is Baltimore and New Jersey. Same struggle, same fight. We're here today to show solidarity with the people of Baltimore who have been fighting hard for justice for Freddie Gray. And let there be no mistake. If there had not been an uprising in Baltimore, we would not be talking about Freddie Gray today. And if there had not been an uprising, that prosecutor would not have charged those officers.
officers because Freddie Gray was not the first. He was one of a dozen in just the last two years. So we're here today to say we demand justice for Freddie Gray, but we also demand justice for the Freddie Grays here in New Jersey. We have the case right standing next to me is the mother of Jerome Reed, who you saw on videotape get out of the car with his hands open, no weapon in his hands, and he was shot to death, shot 10 times at point blank range and killed. We have uh, next to Jerome Reed's mother, next to Sheila Reed, is Michelle Kamal, the mother of Abdul Kamal, who was fired upon 15 times by Irvington police, hit 10 times. What did he have in his hand? A cell phone. That's all he had in his hand. He was killed because he had a cell phone in his hand. And standing next to Michelle Kamal, the mother of Abdul Kamal, is Regina Ashford, the mother of Kashad Ashford, who was shot nine times in the head. We have had enough. Enough. Enough is 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 enough. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? Freddy. Freddy. Police brutality, the Kashad Ashford banner, the 